Uh, with this presentation I'll give an overview of the clients form as we record all the information pertaining to your clients. Um, you'll see I've got two in here at the moment uh, three tabs across the top here and the details pertaining to this client will appear up the top. Um, add a new one, create a new client record. The ID you put in here, there's certain restrictions on it which will become uh, clear if an error is made, so you'll get a message telling you what you need to do. Um, so I can do one here, test, for example, uh, press enter, and immediately goes over here. Now the client ID, well that can represent a lot number. Um, all these other fields on here are self-explanatory, their name, this is the client's information, their street, home address, suburb, postal address if it's different from their home address, email address, web address, salutation would be uh, Bill and Mary or Bill or Harry or Charlie or whatever the, the, uh, his first name or their first names might be, site address, lot number, etc. That information is printed on the uh, purchase orders. Status of the job, whether it's um, you know a tender or an estimate or project, it, that uh, status changes too, so it would start as a, an estimate perhaps and uh, when you've signed a contract it becomes a project. Um, project description, that's just a short description of it, low set brick for near dwelling, four bedrooms and so forth etc etc. Design and style, uh, owner design or it might be one of your standard styles. Uh, contract price which comes later. Um, site classification, what's the site classification on the uh, on the site, that information gets recorded elsewhere too. Uh, the supervisor's name and his telephone number, which is very important because that information gets printed on to um, uh, purchase orders. Back on this list tab here, <coughs> <coughs> pardon me, you'll notice there's uh, an alpha bar here. Um, while I'm on that field, this alpha bar is available. When I'm on this field, that alpha bar then becomes available. So if I want to find anything starting with P, I just click on P and it finds that, filters down to that. Um, reset the filter so you can see all of those again. And up here if I want to find one that started with T under the job ID, it'll find T. Reset the filter again. Um, any job that's on here, if you want it to be not visible on the screen, you just untick it and you'll notice it'll disappear. Um, if we say view all jobs again and you want to have it back on the main list just tick it there and when you say view active jobs then you'll see all of those jobs. To remove a job, delete the details, yes, yes and it's gone. So that's a basic overview of, um, of the um, jobs form. I'll cover each of these uh, buttons over here uh, in subsequent videos. That's the end of this presentation.